Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now today we're going to be taking a look at the graphics that feature on the newest and cheapest KB Lake processor, the Pentium G4560. Now yesterday you may remember we took a look at the uh, processing power itself when paired with a high-end graphics card but today we're actually going to be seeing what the onboard HD610 graphics can do. Now a few videos back we actually tested out the HD510 graphics of the G4400 Skylake processor so today what I thought we'd do is as we take a look at the 610 benchmarks which should be on your screen right now we're going to be talking about these new integrated graphics at the same time as well as putting down in the corner there the results that you would have gotten with the slightly older CPU. The main changes with the new KB Lake processors aren't just the processing power, they are of course the fact that Intel said we could actually play AAA titles with relative ease on these new processors and nothing but the onboard graphics. I don't know if they actually meant as a whole or whether they just meant the higher end processors but what I can say here guys is that there really isn't that much of a difference at the budget end of things when it comes to gaming. Now as you can see the results are fairly respectable at lower resolutions. I wouldn't go out of my way and say that this thing is cut out for 1080p gaming. 4K streaming on the other hand it is very good for. There have definitely been some improvements made there. If you're looking to build a 4K Netflix streaming PC then you, you really couldn't go far wrong with this if you didn't want to add a discrete GPU and it would probably make for a pretty nice cheap multimedia setup. Going back to the games here guys and you can see that whilst there is a difference it really isn't all that. However, I have to say that due to the extra processing power that even the cheapest KB Lake brings to the table, when in comparison with something slightly older, it is definitely worth buying one of these instead, even if you didn't want to pair it with a discrete GPU as of yet, because if you get a bit down the line and you decide that you suddenly want to start getting into more sort of hardcore gaming, then you're going to want a discrete GPU, of course, and it's going to go very nicely with this chip. These KB Lake processors also benefit from faster RAM and so we're using 8GB of DDR4 here clocked at 2400MHz but we've also made sure to be using that RAM with our G4400 as well. As I mentioned previously about the lower resolutions, that's what you're going to need for games like GTA, Tomb Raider, things like that. But when it comes to those slightly less demanding titles or perhaps those older games, then 1080p shouldn't really be a problem at all. Now I've chosen to compare it with the G4400 as these two are priced relatively similar and I think once the dust dies down a little bit with these KB Lakes and they're released fully in the US, I don't think this Pentium is available as of yet in the United States, correct me if I'm wrong, but at the time of this video I can only see it available in the UK and of course that's where I live, so that's where I bought it. Here the G4560 retails for £65 and the G4400 is about £55 to £60 but I think over the next couple of months in all areas no matter where you're buying these they will become slightly closer in price and the G4560 will definitely be the one to buy. It will probably be the budget CPU to buy if I'm honest as I explained in yesterday's video if you're looking for a nice budget socket 1151 build however a few people were saying to me wait for Ryzen and that may be a good idea if you're not too impatient I myself rushed out and bought one of these for the purpose of testing but it will be interesting to see how Ryzen stacks up against these new hyper threaded Pentiums when it comes to gaming without a discrete graphics card though I can safely say there is an improvement so whether you want to buy one of these if you're just looking at it from a sort of streaming perspective then that is up to you but I would entirely recommend it just in case you ever do want to get a graphics card further down the line. So guys thank you so much for watching this has actually been an unscripted video you might be able to tell I usually write a little script before I do these videos I hope you enjoyed the video nonetheless like it if you did dislike it if you didn't subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already thank you for the massive support as always and hopefully I'll see you all in the next one.